I'm not gonna break Meteor million times. Even if I killed Oriana's Have you ever thought of making a mobile fire guide for Akram? I've done it before, bro, and the thing is, it's just not worth it. Because, like, here, I'll take us a story. So, people use mobile fire guides because on mobile fire, you can embed your stream in the guide, and everybody that watches your guide acts as one viewer for Twitch. That's why a lot of the time you guys are gonna see, and, like, the best example of that is that one guy. The EU streamer, I forgot what his name is, but so it's like a V or some shit. And like, if it works out well, you can embed thousands of viewers into your stream, right? To make it look like, in reality, you might have made 500 people watching, but like Twitch will say you have 2 to 3k. It's just that for me, they never popped off, and they never really did well, and it would give me maybe 5 to 10 viewers, so it was just like never worth it for me personally. So that's why like I never really bothered with it, because it was like, I tried a few times, and even one time, I did a... um. I worked 30 hours on this one Hecarim guide, and I thought it would, like, pop off, right? It was a Hecarim mid guide. And then when I did it, it literally embedded me maybe, like, five viewers, and then I was like, wow, what a complete waste of time. So after that, I was just like, you know what? I'll make YouTube videos as, like, guides for Hecarim, but I won't do anything else, right? For Dark and... Yeah, but the thing is, it's, like, a lot of streamers embed, guys. Like, a lot more than you think. I know a lot of, like, 100 viewer streamers who have three to 500 viewers because of embedded guides. Anybody you know who has a mobile fire guide, there's a very good chance that it's embedded viewers. Very, very good chance. Uh, okay, so it's Graves. Graves can invade early, so I want to do Control Ward start. And you could also late invade, so I want to right away get this ward here. Alright guys, let's apply my newfound logic of jungle and learning to this game. Aurelia is in lane, so we know Graves started red, right? So Graves could definitely do red into my blue ground here because he did that. If he doesn't do that, he's either going to do that new weird path thing where he goes red into Raptors and then Grom. And if he doesn't do that, then he's going to full clear. So he has three methods of pathing that he can do this game. So since he's not in my blue yet, it's going to be one of the last two. So, I don't know if he's like here, so I'll just ping that. But he's 100% like around Raptors. He could also full clear bot side into like a mid gank or something, potentially. So, with how far he shoved, I feel like he might gank, so I'm just gonna like ping that he could be here. If he doesn't show top on that ward, four cams are gone for me, so that means yeah, so he's probably doing full clear then. Either full clear or five cam clear for sure. Unless he's like reverse clearing and invading me, so I'll just drop a ward here in case because it doesn't really matter. Still not on the map. Okay, so he's definitely going full clear then. So that means right now he's on Grom. Oh, he did five campaigns, Smid. Interesting. I mean, if he's playing Graves and he did five camp, then there's a very good chance he didn't do his Krugs. Because there's no way you just skip your Grom if you're playing Graves, right? Like, that just seems super weird. I'll just wait here then. So this is like the example from the video we were watching where it's like the mid stalemate, but now we know that Graves is top. So we can just back off. Let's chill. Yeah, so you see how Krugs are up? So now we can just do this. And the reason I eat over the wall is because there's minion wave here, so if I don't eat over the wall, then they have vision and they're not on this. But now it's like completely taken by surprise. Um, could bot dive work here? So now Grave is probably reset, he's going to be around bot side, so I'll ping this. Top lane looks very gankable, so I kind of want to gank top lane right away. Graves just showed on my blue. Free kill on earlier. This popping goes because I know I'll need to get this. Nice, she failed flash. So because Graves shows bot, now it's about like punishing him for showing bot, right? So instead of just going for like typical full clear, I'm gonna probably do Krugs. Whoa, or Krugs Raptors invade. Yeah, so you see how we have vision of him here? Nice. So it's like I could collapse on this, but I have enough faith in my team. Yeah, by the time I get there, it's gonna be like useless that I showed up. 
So instead, look, Graves waste all this time, right? And it's like, I can just come here and take his top side now. And what can he do? He's gonna go check his, his uh, Krugs, but his Krugs are gone. Sounds like he's gonna go his Krugs, and he's gonna do Raptors, right? We know he's gonna do Raptors. So you can go do Raptors, but that's chill. I'll just take Wolves, I'll take Gromp, and I'll take Scuttle. And now you're at a significant disadvantage. And I can regank your top laner with Predator since she burnt her flash earlier. And we're gonna be chilling. But now we know Graves is on this, so we gotta watch out. So I know Graves is around here. He's probably pathing top now. Ah, oh, there he is. But! He's strong as fuck. I really could be rotating down, so that's why I'm... Use your ult here. Nice. Okay. One for one. I mean, it should've been a lot better than that, but like, whatever. I wasn't expecting Graves to be like right on the scuttle while I was on it, so that's like a bit unlucky. Mm, so what's Graves' playoff respawn? Red's up, so he's probably gonna go red right away. Um... My ult's not up, so a gank bot. I think a gank bot could actually work really well here. Predator is gonna be up, yeah. And since he's gonna be bot side, it's not like he can clear my red for me going to his, right? Because he's gonna be on his red. So like we just do a free little gank bot here, and it's completely chill. Ah, maybe not actually. Well, that was cancer. That was a complete. Completely cancer waste of time. Uh, yeah, we do that. But since Graves wants to show bot, it's like I can just clear my top side and then his top side too. So we punish him for showing bot there. So now because Graves wants to go for that. Actually, I could probably kill Aurelia and then do what I want to do. Yeah, just gonna really. So we got the really kill, and now Graves probably finished dragon. Now he's gonna resun path straight for his blue. Uh, so f the thing is, if I go for blue, and Lissandra shows up, I get caught and I die, right? But if I can like look for a mid gank, then it's like I bring the fight to them. I think it's CFS ult, so we just need CF ult. Perfect. There we go. Well played, bro. Nice. That's so really, really good. And then we know they're... Perfect. Play. So now we can just take... Oh, fuck. Okay, so we're just gonna give that. But the thing is, I can probably take Grom, so that's okay. So I'll take the Grom for free. And Graves' is his play is he knows that there's like nothing from him, so he's probably only gonna do Herald, right? Herald or Dive Bar is only two options. If I take Herald, I deny it from him. Or if I kill Aurelia, that could also work really nice. Perfect, so we kill Aurelia. And then we know, ah, uh, actually Graves might be pathing Shape Ball because he just saw me mid. So I just want to run here to defend. Because the thing is, since we have top prior, right? It's like if he decides to go for the Herald, then Fiora could collapse on him, so we don't really need to be there to be the one saying that if she's gonna be there, right? Why would we need that? So now I can just afford to go uh, Sunder and then... Yeah, we're gonna get frozen with this guy. Alright! Not bad, so what's Graves' play? Graves could uh, probably be on Herald here, is like what I'm gonna assume. Uh, okay, so we got this. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna do this, and if he's on Herald, it's like we're gonna get a kill on him. If he's on Herald, we're gonna take Herald, and then we're gonna reinvade his top side. So Graves just showed bots, so what does that mean? That means he just lost Herald, and he's gonna lose his top side. Perfect. So, we could use uh, Herald to open up top, but it's like the guy in the video said, why would you want to open up a lane if your laners are winning? So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna try for a gank mid. Or maybe a gank bot. Gank bot actually, I think would be nice. Do you get TF ult here? Predator activate, perfect. Perfect. Perfect.
<laughs> Not bad. And now we can herald to open our boss. So now, if I go straight for dragon off my respawn, right? Graves is gonna take my red. So what I want to do is I want to deny Graves from getting resources, right guys? So what does that mean? That means we're not going to do a full clear because it'll take too much time. But instead, we're going to just clear these two camps. And then afterwards, we're going to clear our bot side and then we're going to go dragon. That way, if Graves is top side, we deny him from getting these two resources, right? How broken would that be? So now, if I go for this dragon and Graves sees I take dragon, what can he do as a counterplay? Nothing. Okay. I'll scout out the enemy's bot side actually. Because I'm at the point now where I'm so strong that like nothing matters to me anymore. I could probably just sit my dive, honestly. Right. This I got. So now Graves has to be clearing his top side, but if he is, we just kill him off. Yeah, I'll just take his Gromp then and then I can uh is this top wave? It's gonna be pushing towards us actually. So I'm not gonna take that top wave because if I do it's a nice for our resources. And since we're doing pretty well, I'm not going to deny her resources. So now, what we can do is we can do this blue. And then we set their collapsing on bot, right? So, what do we do? We kill everybody. Really? Oh, that's cancer. If it wasn't for smoke screen, I actually won that. Um, you know what? I was saying getting dead man, so I think it would actually be in my best interest to get that stance. And then after that, we can go for like Spurvisage, and that's probably proper optimization. Why am I 1000 IQ today? Because Charisma spent about an hour and a half coaching me over the course of three different games, and he was giving me the mindset on what it really means to be a jungler at a challenger level like what what challenger jungling really is all about and it just completely changed my outlook on the game okay, really is dead to our team we can just see gromp into dragon then probably break open mid i think and now we can just invade graves bot side because he showed mid and just clear top side so whatever bot side camps will respawn or still respawn let's try and be around here There we go. So now since Assange is dead and Graves is caught from Fior, we can kill Graves and Baron is uh... Hold on. You want another one? Just for you. Oh, never mind. Alright, so we just do Baron, and then after Baron, we can just go mid and end the game. Let me some comes here to be like that. Okay. I got the dot sense. That's two. That's three. Let's see. Okay. Alright, so now I can just reset. I have 3k gold, so I'll probably just get Spur Visage. Oh, we should be good. Uh, actually, is it even necessary? No, I know what I want to do. Just a turn now. Because I want to do Spurvisage because like, it's still like Seraphine and Lissandra have AP. But if I just get Thornma, I think it's like more than fine. Okay, so now we can just escort Herald mid and probably end the game with how strong we are. Nice. Alright, we won! Mm. Not bad.